So where do we get hydrocarbons from? Hydrocarbons come from crude oil. Once the crude oil is brought up from the ground, it is separated into components by a process called distillation. Now distillation in the lab is a technique that we use for separating different parts of a solution. Okay, So we boil the solution and as the gases come off at different temperatures, they condense back into a liquid, which we collect as, we, as it's been heated. So this sort of setup has a heating unit, a boiling flask, so your mixture of solutions or your mixture of liquids are in the boiling flask, that's heated up. There's a thermometer in the top of that boiling flask, so as the liquid's heated and gases form, gases come off at different boiling points. So the lowest, the gas that has the lowest boiling point, or the liquid rather, that has the lowest boiling point comes off first, it's turned into a gas, and then that gas passes through the condenser to become a liquid again. So the gas is condensed back into a liquid, and that passes into the receiving flask. When the temperature changes in the thermometer, then we know to remove this re receiving flask and to replace it with a new one because the next time the temperature stops and we get a gas at a different temperature forming or forming at a different temperature that's a different liquid that is being condensed in the condenser. When we're talking about crude oil it's got lots of different components so we have something or we use a process called fractional distillation. Fractional distillation of crude oil happens in oil refineries and they have these massive big towers which are called fractionating columns. So you can see here that uh, raw crude oil is heated and it's turned into a gas. The gases then go into the fractionating column and you'll see that the hottest temperatures are at the bottom of that column. So at this point here it's only the very large molecules that come out of solution, things like bitumen and asphalt, things that are mostly solid. Um, then as the gases move up they cool down and we get the heavier fractions coming out first resulting in eventually as we cool down to lighter fractions, smaller molecules are coming out until we get to room temperature right at the top of the fractionating tower or, or just normal ambient temperature where the, the parts, the hydrocarbons that are gases at room temperature are still gases and they come off as gases at the end. Now I'll give you a chance to have a look at this video clip is formed deep in the ground from the effects of long-term heat and pressure on ancient plant and animal remains. The oil is either pumped to the surface or rises to the surface under its own pressure. This crude oil is a mixture of many different hydrocarbons. It is shipped to the refinery by tanker or pumped locally by pipe. These hydrocarbons are separated using a process called fractional distillation. The crude oil is heated in a furnace and fed into a large heated tower. The tower consists of many levels where repeated condensation and vaporization occurs as the hydrocarbons rise through the tower. Because boiling point increases with molecular weight, lighter fractions will move further up the column while heavier fractions remain near the bottom. The repeated condensation and vaporization increases the purity of the fractions found at each level. These fractions are piped off to other locations around the plant for further purification and distribution. Many hydrocarbon products are produced at the refinery. The chief products include alcohols such as the solvent methanol, liquefied petroleum gas used in gas grills and for heating homes, gasoline, jet fuel, kerosene, heating oil, diesel fuel, light and heavy lubricating oils, petroleum jelly, greases and asphalt which is mixed with gravel to make road surfaces. So you see the products or the fractions from crude oil have many many uses in our society today. Now if you have a look at this animation you can go to it using the link at the bottom of this page or the link off knowledge net if you're a Haggis student. Um, have a go at this and see if you can sort out 
which of these go where?